Hello everyone, my name is Sick, and welcome to my Death World playthrough of Factorio. Since the last episode, I've done a little bit of work. I've put lights everywhere, so we have some light at night. As you can see, it's pretty dark out, but not in our factory. We also made sure that, um, or I made sure, that I have not only radars up here, but I now also have radars down there. And we have two radars up here. So we can see a little bit more of the surrounding countryside. And as you can see, we have some stuff up to the top, to the north there. We have some stuff to the northeast. Two pretty sizable biter bases. And this is probably just a small one, but it might still be bigger. And also we see a few little islands off to the south. As you can see right there. And not sure what we can find over here quite yet, but we will eventually. Alright, so our goal for this mission, or for this video, is the automated production of red science and green science, probably as well, if we can make that work. Also, I made sure that our um, copper is working full speed now as well. They didn't have a uh, source of coal yet, but now they do. But uh, yeah, so in order to make red science packs, we are going to need iron gear wheels. Let's see and copper plates. So it is a very easy and simple task for now, but we do still need to make sure that we have some expanded production of these things. I think what I want to do is I want to create four more and I'm going to run them in the opposite direction off to this side somewhere. Maybe have the production of this stuff over here and then I'm not quite sure what to do with the laboratories yet because they probably have to move at some point as well. But first things first, let's pop down some more factories. Let's just make sure that they all have power, that they're all correctly hooked up. We also need to make sure that we have some inserters. And then let's see, this thing is just going to run on like that. And these guys can go down like so. And then, I'm not entirely sure. I think what we can do is cut across here maybe. I'm not into now nah, actually you know what we're going to cut across right on here on top of the uranium that's going to be fine you just need to make sure that our things are getting close to the copper production also we should probably just go down over here and move on in this direction Right, we can draw off in this direction now as well. And that's close enough to, uh, to this stuff for now. In the meantime, our inserters are finished, so we can just start making uh, sure that this production works. We also are going to need a splitter. And we should probably... Uh, no, we still have plenty of transport belts, so that's fine. But we do need these things right there. Oh. Let us see. All right, so iron gear wheels, and we're going to have a splitter off to this side, running onto the same belt once more. All right, now that we have this, we are of course going to need some assembling machines again, three or four for now. That's going to suffice. We have some more inserters, which we are going to need. So let's see, we will take up the top there, I think. Just like that. Maybe another uh, splitter. That would be useful. We could have one over here. And now I'm not entirely sure what to do. I think what I might want to do is make sure that we have uh, maybe a second splitter. Because of course this splitter is going to go like that and then run onto this belt. But I think what I want to do is throw on a splitter here as well that is going to run onto this thing here. So let's see, we could do... Uh, coming in like this. We can have one thing coming in like that. And then this is going towards the new production area, basically. I think that could be okay. But maybe we need it to be a little bit more off in the other direction. So let's see. We're going to place this thing right there. Then one side of the production can go off in this direction, the other side will go off in this direction. 
but eventually he's going to meet the iron gear wheels and then they they are going to be combined on the same belt that's my idea here so maybe we should just uh place it down like so these guys are going to continue on like that and then we can have our production of these things together let's see another little split there we have to keep everything as compact as possible because well let's see what would be the best place to place this stuff i guess we place one down over here and one up there that's going to be fine yeah we, because we have limited space to work with we are going to make sure that we have everything as tight as possible but we should not try to bottleneck ourselves too much as well at the same time because you know we're going to have to ha run these things past each other at some point most likely and that means that well they're going to have to be underground belts and and other things like that so all right now that we have this working let us think about where we should want to have our research done maybe up here could be nice not sure but yeah i think i think that's going to be fine so what we want to do here is create a belt um, that runs off in this direction, but not quite on the top. Because I think we're going to have the green signs up here. And then we will have the uh, general production of these things up there. And they can run onto the same belt with an underground belt. And then we will have red and green signs right there. Yeah, that feels pretty good to me. Alright. I did already put some science packs in these things because I wanted to start researching something which I forgot in the busyness of all these other things. But we're going to get that started as soon as I plop down our laboratories in the new location. So let's see, we will place one down there. Go away for now. We will place one down there. We are going to need two of these again. And of course we're going to need uh, electricity. And we can eventually have another science belt up there as well, probably. Alright, so now that we have this, let's divide that between the two. Let's divide this between the two as well. And what we want to research now is a landfill, so we can start production of that stuff. Because we are, of course, at some point going to need that laboratory or that land bridge. Alright, next thing is we're going to make green science, or green science packs. And for that we need inserters and we need transport belts. Now, what I figured I would do for this is we need to make sure that we have, let's see, we're going to have to have electronic circuits. To make that, we need iron plates and copper cables. So what I want to do is I'm going to want to use this for copper cables. And we're going to run those copper cables all the way up north towards this area, which is where we're going to make all of this other stuff. And then, yeah, we'll see how we're going to combine all of these things. It's going to be a little bit troublesome, but let's see. Let's make four assembling machines for now. Let's uh, make sure that these guys are coming in our direction. Like so, and we can go up about this area. Alright. So now we need enough spacing in the middle. This guy can go down like that, and we need to make some more inserters. But eventually, um, let's see, yeah, I'm just going to follow this along, I think. We can go down like so. And I guess what we should do is keep this um, going like that, yeah. Hmm. Let's pick this up for now. I figured I would plant it down there, but I might not. I might put it down somewhere else. not going to run to <laughs> run it onto that belt that's a bad idea all right what we want to do now i think is we're just going to run it straight up and see how it works because this way we can still expand with things over here in some way but we'll see we'll see all right so we're going to make circuits up here we need iron plates and copper cables for that and i think what we want to do here is take another splitter we're going to split 
something of this iron off here and we're going to run that down. Now we want to keep space for this as well, so we need to make sure that um, this is going to go down well past the point where we need to disk to continue. So we need at least another inserter here and then another transport belt there. So I think uh, this would be a nice height. We could put it up like that. Now we're going to need some more uh, assembling machines as well. But first, we can finish off setting this thing up over here. All right. So, let's put this this stuff down. Ooh. Let's make sure that we have inserters everywhere as well. And all that's left to do is make sure that these things are producing the correct item, which is copper cables. All right, and now that we have this doubled up, we should probably get yet another splitter. And with this splitter, we're going to make sure that all of this stuff runs on, a cr or on both sides. That is the best way to go about this, I think, because it's going to be fine that way. Yeah, this is going to be doubled up. It seems like I forgot a little uh, corner section there, which is unfortunate, but I caught it in time. Now we will have this area producing the next item, which is going to be the... Uh, let's see, we're not going to put it on that side, we're going to put it on this side. Like so. And what I'm hoping to do with this setup is make sure that we can keep dragging this stuff out. You know, like we can continue this line along that way, we can continue that line along this way. This line can continue down, and so on, and so on. I think that would be really cool. Alright, now we need to make sure that this stuff is all connected up. Let's place it down like that. We will have some inserters. There we go, and you guys are going to be making electronic circuits. We're going to drag this one out a little bit as well. And then of course, we are going to need some lights. So I'm going to place one in the middle. We're going to skip one. That's going to be fine like that. We're going to have some lights over here as well, because I hate working in the dark. All right. So now that we have electronic circuits, what else do we need to make the arms? Uh, let's see, the arms are over here. We need electronic circuits, iron gear wheels, and iron plates. So we can definitely make all of that stuff work. We have the iron gear wheels over here. We have some more iron plates here as well. And then all we need is this stuff. So what we could do is if we make another two splitters. We could have one side run on like this. One side can run on to this stuff like that. But we're going to have it a little bit differently. Maybe like so. Then we're going to get this splitter. It's going to run onto the other side. You're going to go that way. You're going to go that way. You're going to go that way. And now we need a splitter on this item as well. Like so. Now we need another underground belt. And we're going to run that up next to this one. Let's see. Right, so we're going to need to run you that way. You're going to be alongside this thing. And then of course we're going to need another splitter to make sure that these things run onto the same side. And then we're going to need, let's see, another three assembling machines. You're going to run that way. All right, and so then we are going to be creating these inserters. Where are we going to do that? Um, probably down here somewhere. And those can be run back in this direction. Then we can have, uh, I don't know, maybe green sands production down here somewhere. That could be that could be nice. 
Yeah, I think I like the sound of that. So we're going to take this section and we're going to start off in this direction. So let's place down some uh, production facilities over here. You are going to be making, no, not green sands. You are going to be making, ah, oh, we can't make that yet. Really? Ah, we need blue, uh, we need three items. That's correct. So we need assembling machine number two. We don't have those yet, but we need to make them. Right, so let's see. Let's suck up these things for now because they're all, it's always handy to have a, a few electronic circuits in our inventory. Our landfill is still being researched. And what we need after that is, let's see, automation 2, which is going to require 40 red science packs. And we could probably make another science lab. Or two, actually, yeah. Two science labs, we're just going to make a little line so we can have the red science or the next thing research very quickly. But I think we're running out of energy. Electricity is not quite satisfied. Not quite. Close, but not close enough. Alright, so we can have you guys over here. He can, they can... Uh, they don't, they're not helping along with the current research yet. Alright, so we're going to wait for that stuff to be finished. And then we're going to continue building up our automated production facility. Alright, so research is going on. Uh, it's almost finished. I took this time to expand a little bit on our research by adding six in total. And in the meantime, I've also automated uh, the production of, of uh, bricks. So we can have some flooring, like I've already put down in the meantime as well. So, we're also getting some stuff in chests. It's 800 for now, which they're entirely filled, but we're going to need this for the landfill stuff in a bit. In the meantime, we also need, of course, production of this of wooden bricks so we can make walls and also floors so we can walk faster. And in this way, we're going to be nice and healthy going forward. All right, so let's see. Steel processing, we can research that as well. Um, now that we can make the labs that we are required to make, we can move forward. So eventually we're going to have, let's see, um, well actually we can we can ma meet this out already a little bit, so let's see, we're going to have one over here, we're going to need one space in the middle, we're going to have these guys running over here, and you guys can uh, eventually move off in this direction, and I think Let's see, what else do we need? We need, uh, oh yeah, we need transport belts. We can have transport belts and grabbing arms on the same belt. All right, that's another thing finished. We could do fluid handling, which gives storage tanks, but we're not even researching oil yet, so this is a little bit weird. Let's go for stone walls. Another project that's going to be finished in like almost no time at all, but oh well. All right. Now that we have all of this stuff, let's make sure that we have some inserters. Right, uh, turrets, because we are, we are going to need them after all. We need some long-handed inserters. They're going to go right next to these. These guys are going to continue on in this direction. Yep. Military. You're going to go that way. All right. Then you are going to be making inserter arms. We are going to need a splitter, some underground belts. We're going to need many more iron plates to make all of this work. Because we are still going to have to craft some stuff by hand. Right, heavy armor. So many research things that are going to be done in just like no time at all. God damn it. Stop moving me around. Alright. So now that these things are producing, we're going to put these things on the same belt for now. Because doubling up, you know, make sure that we have a little bit of a supply on one belt that we can pick up. Even if we don't need everything straight off the bat. Um, so, let's see, we're also going to need these things. 
Let's make sure we have another inserter. We're going to have an underground belt coming this way. Yeah, you're going to work in this way. Let us see. Gotta keep things close. Like so. And then we are going to want to have, let's see, one side like so. One side like so. Yeah, that's going to work out nicely. And then we can continue moving this off in this direction. Actually, we should probably keep it in line with this, because now we can have underground belts coming from here to there, and then from there to there. And we are going to make sure, or have to make sure, that we have some space to do that in the future, because many of these belts are probably going to keep doubling up on each other. But for now, this system looks pretty fine. We can expand everything in line. We can expand this in that direction, this can go in that direction, this thing can go in that direction. We have some production that can go in this direction. In a bit, at least. Because that is what we're going to set up now, of course. Let's see, yeah, we need one space like so. One so. And one so. The added benefit of having played this game for a while is knowing exactly what you can build and when. And we are also going to need some more wood. But first, let us see. You're going to take this stuff like so. These guys are all going to be making science pack too. Crap. Um, what else? Bullet damage. Yeah, by the time we find the aliens, it would be good to have, you know, as high damage as possible. Definitely going for that. Alright, so... Now that we have this, let's see. We are going to need another splitter. We're going to put it right there. You're going to be making green science packs as well. We could add this with like two more, probably, but for now this is going to be fine. Like so. Alright. We're going to need an underground belt. And then we're going to run this stuff over in this direction and make sure it can go onto the underground belt as well. Or uh, on the same belt as the red science packs. And for now this is fine, we have room for underground belts, like double underground belts in this area, so we can double this thing up. But we don't want to do much more than this. Alright. Now that we have all of this... Ooh, we can go straight away, like, one line. This is really nice. Alright. Cool. So now that we have all of this, I'm going to run and get some wood. Alright, so green science packs are hooked up. Everything is put to power, and eventually all of this stuff is going to go down here and fill up this little belt. And we will have red and green sands taken care of. And actually, we should probably already make sure that we have a little bit more production, because these things are very slow to make. So I've, I don't think we will regret it at all if we expand on this system a little bit. And in that case, we should probably move this thing down a little bit as well, but I'm not sure how well, that's going to work out. Let's see. Oh, we could make it work. Yeah. Let's see. Because this thing is going to be deposited like so. That means this item is going to go like this. Let's see. It's going to end up like that. Yeah, that will work, I think. If I'm looking at this correctly, which I think I am. Then we're going to need one more up here. Ah, and of course, we're going to need to stretch this down as well. All right, and that was the last bit of my transport belts as well. Awesome. So we have, let's see, six assembling machines making green science packs and as you can see quite a bit is going down we're not even using it for research yet so it is slowly stacking up down there but eventually of course this is going to be entirely filled up 
All right, so I think that was a pretty productive video. We made quite a few things. Uh, let's see, we can... Yeah, bullet shooting speed, why not? Let's do, let this double up for a bit. But yeah, I think we got quite a lot done. We have this setup, we have this setup, you know, the, the, the grab arms, the inserters, we have the, the electronic circuits, and we have everything set up in such a way that we can keep expanding on it, which is really, really important. All right, so that's it for this video. Please leave a like and a comment below if you enjoyed this content and want to see more. And I'll see you guys for whatever video I do next.